Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Tips. So it's Cypher Sigma Toys here, and if I can get it in, we shall get into the intro and now. And there we go, that's the intro. So throwing it up and mixing it up a little bit for this episode. So yeah, obviously it's Tuesday, this is a collection video. I've had two packages turn up trying not to give away any of the details there so we should get into it so we'll get into the big one because it has numbers on it stuff i don't really want to see so i have been ordering um, some few bits from people from facebook so i believe that's mostly where these have come from people have been selling little collections of figures they've not necessarily been complete and stuff but that's kind of where i gravitated towards okay so yeah so this is a set that cost me 20 pounds it is movie related um, so we have um, a jiffy bag for the stuff here and we have these wrapped up so I'll undo so first off um, the seller was selling a load of figures from a 90s movie and if I put the figures up on screen good old Arnold Schwarzenegger in the last action hero so yeah so they had them five pound each figures were complete which is quite a steal um, so and then it was like postage on top um, I noticed he had I've been kind of gravitating towards older films and series and stuff and that and wanted to revisit a few older movies one of those was um, Stargate so he had a figure of Stargate complete as well um, I believe that's his gun that's some sort of animal um, does the missile is this the missile yeah so I think these are all the weapons to this figure. So this is my first Stargate figure. I say, been itching to kind of go back and revisit the movie. Um, and then obviously the last action hero, he comes with a, I did have this as a child, has a little Kung Fu grip. He obviously has a bar that you can place on his hand and he throws. You have muscle or bell bars and a grenade, all that he can throw for this figure. So good old Arnie. I mean, really, really good. I mean, the figure looks almost immaculate, like it's never even been played with. And then kind of the Shakespeare one. So if you've ever watched the movie at the beginning, it shows you him taking on several roles. One of them is Hamlet, I think. And obviously he has a... Let's see. Oh, oh the doesn't... Okay. Okay, the skull doesn't want to seem to latch in, so maybe that is a little issue. And then obviously he has his sword, and I believe it has a belt where he can put his weapons on it. Um, unless that comes with the lad, I don't know. Can't really remember. But yeah, so I'm not the massive... Like, I do like the movie, and the figures are all right, but for a five or each plus place, you can't really go wrong. Um, so good to have these two. He had the full set, I think, of all six figures. Uh, or five figures and the accessories with the young lad but I only wanted these two because this one I had as a child I think I had both of these at some point so I thought it was worth to collect them now and they will go on my movie line I don't really have any Arnold Schwarzenegger looking figures I mean I know they're not the best looking Arnold Schwarzenegger figures and then obviously you have the young lad from Stargate and it's been so long I can't even remember Otherwise, that has been it. And really bad the edit, not, not even can I get the name, but I didn't even open the second package because I was too preoccupied. So apologies for that. I, um, this is what happens when you try and rush stuff. So as I said, picked up. So we've got the two last action hero figures and we have um, the one Stargate figure. from the end as I say I buy so much I can barely remember what I have bought okay so we have two other figures here so someone was selling them uh, or is make an offer so first we have this guy so this guy is called I believe Kilo Khan he has a 
He is the master of the digital world. He, this is, um, so anybody who knows about Power Rangers, Power Rangers came from a Japanese series called Sentai. So there is another series called Gridman. He was adapted into an American series, one only, that played um, by one of the brothers, and I can't even remember what the lad's name is now, the Lawrence brothers, I believe. It was the middle one. Um, and it was called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Um, I have a servo figure and I have one of the creatures. This is kind of the bad guy. I said he, it was basically five pound all in each. Um, again, it's not a figure I come across. It's probably worth about that much. Um, I don't think he comes with accessories. So great to have him and add him to the collection. Then I noticed he had this figure, which again is another figure I don't really come across. So I believe this is a character from the animated series of the Highlander. So I do remember this. He is a little bit tacky on the back. I think the plastic. Don't know if he comes with any weapons. Again, it was just something I didn't see. So it was ten pounds for these two figures, and then obviously it was twenty pound for the two actors. So thirty quid for five figures to six pound a figure. I don't think it is that bad on the grand scheme of things. Apologies, this, this editing is going to be really bad, but we shall get back to normal. My little collection, I've been Cypher Sigma Screen Time. Hope you like this. I've not been Cypher Sigma Screen Time. I've been Cypher Sigma Toys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you got any of these figures in or any you recommend? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I shall see you in the next one.